name's Graham Creeve. I'm the project manager for uh, the FIRE standard, which is an open standard run out of HL7, a health standards organisation. Sorry, so that's five years ago. It was clear five years ago that the industries were going to be transformed by digital disruption that, that needed to happen in healthcare, that the standards that we had weren't going to lead to any progress at all and, and were failing, that APIs were clearly going to be the future. So we decided to take the API approach, bolt onto it our healthcare knowledge that we had generated through 30 years of doing healthcare standards, and, and hopefully people would like it. People have liked it. So we started out with a plan that we would develop a first beta version, which is technically called a draft standard for trial use, that, that would just make people pay attention. And then over the next two years, we would generate a real beta version, which would be the version that we would expect people to really trial. The first real version was actually published two weeks ago, but the adoption that we expected to get with this version is the adoption we got with the last version. Adoption is running two years ahead of our expectations, or actually our hopes, and, and, and we, we're struggling to deal with the amount of adoption that we've got. It's just because people really like what we're doing, they really want to, to use it. We, we created an iterative process. We said we'll learn as we go. That means that we've built a standard that people like, but it's still maturing and it's not solid and stable. And now people are really having to figure out whether they want to engage with the standard through that developmental phase or not. So FIRE is a RESTful specification. So it's built as a specification in the way that uh, Google and Twitter and Facebook and so forth build their specifications. Those are specifications that scale really well, both technically and much more importantly, they build a community really well. People like them. So we, we've used their form of, of API and added all the healthcare knowledge we have, clinical treatment, medication management, diagnostic reporting, patient management, um, financial management, a whole lot of technical supporting infrastructure that have, has arisen in healthcare to support SNOM NCT and RxNorm and, and LOIC and so forth over the years. So we, we've taken all our knowledge of how to work with them and added that to a RESTful API and then published that as an open standard that anybody can implement solutions that solve the common problems in healthcare. FIRE is a standards project about creating interoperable standards in an international context that anybody can adopt. In order to do that well, we have people actually need to get together and adopt them as a community and test them out between each other and, and prove whether things that we design work and then feed back to us about how things do and don't work so we can respond to that. Argonaut is one of those projects, a really important one that uh, gathers the key um, major system vendors and leading institutions in the US to test out fire, a particular use of fire, which is clearly around the requirement for them to publish APIs as described in Meaningful Use 3. So they're clarifying the technical underpinnings of what will, will be required in Meaningful Use 3. And then they're checking that it works, writing a, a set of um, rules about how the capabilities of fire will be used and feeding back to us when they find issues with the specification so that we can fix those in the future. Well, no, fire spec is about mapping the data to an API. And we've said, look, the API will be provided one way or another, but, but there's a bunch of work need to, done, to be done to provision the API, to protect the API, to control access to it, and, and that has to be done by everybody. We, we don't do that as part of the specification, but most people systems that adopt the specification will need to do that. Apogee offers a canned way for them to hand those onerous but relatively irrelevant to healthcare responsibilities over to a third party which can do them more efficiently, and, and therefore they can focus on health rather than you know, all the mechanics of providing an API. I think that's a really important accelerator within the ecosystem, and, and I look forward to seeing lots of people within the ecosystem adopt accelerator program, an accelerator program like that, so that they can focus on the bit that we do well, which is the healthcare part. The specification, there's bits we've worked on that are, are very mature, they've had a lot of use. The base API has, has had a lot of use and is pretty mature. Some of the core clinical and, and basic resources, 
the patient resource, some of the diagnostic ordering resources, a lot of the technical supporting infrastructure. They've had a lot of use and a lot of adoption and they're in production now already. And so we regard those as very mature. But other areas of the specification where we know that the specifications still undergoing testing and development. We, we know that if you start using fire to support, say, the process of ordering medications and then refusing to provide them and, and tracking an actual active medication system, there's areas there that we haven't explored and we don't know whether the solutions, we haven't proven that the solutions work. And then there's some other parts of fire where nobody's ever actually interoperated with this content before. It's never been done. And, and we don't even know whether the content in the specification will be useful or not. And so we've got to go through an evaluation process and prove that, that those things either are or aren't useful. If they aren't useful, we'll drop them. If they are useful, then we'll bring them along and, and advance them through the maturation process and the adoption process. And I think everybody will be better for it if we can get you know, core clinical concepts like the, the differential diagnostic process the doctor goes through Nobody's ever shared that stuff before, but we think there could be a lot of benefit to doing that. With, with regard to fire, the key problem that everybody's acutely aware of is that we created an iterative process that's responsive to users that is still uh, undergoing maturation. And that's a much better option than having some one or two experts declare that they've solved all the problems of the world and close it off. And everyone says, well, it's stable, but it doesn't work. That's no good. So we've created a, an iterative process, but we also need stability. So really we need to accelerate the iteration of the process. In order to get the stability that people want, we need people to try it out, test it, tell us what doesn't work, and, and then we can respond to that and produce something that's much more stable. Some of the bits that are really stable are stable because people really pushed them when they tested them, and we want more testing, more bread than the testing, and to join the community and give us feedback. One of the open discussions is how you can accelerate and, and integrate security between the accelerator and the underlying system. It becomes a shared responsibility. What does it mean to have that shared responsibility? We as a community need to understand how to spread security across the system so you have defence in depth and you can make the right decisions at the right points. And I think that's an open discussion that we look forward to having and then we can maybe cans and learning and, and even accelerate the process further.